I had something on my mind that I wanted to just uh, get this out there to you. And so I don't have any notes or anything, but it's just a Bible study that we can uh, go over together. And we're in 1 Kings chapter 22. And we'll start with the sixth verse. And the idea of it is if you're not being persecuted in the service of the Lord, you may want to check yourself. If everything's just great and lovely and everything's going your way, you may not be where you need to be. So, uh, I studied this a while back, and then these other verses in Timothy's what led me to make the video. 1 Kings chapter 22, verse 6. We're talking about Ahab and uh, Jehoshaphat, the two kings. Um, Ahab was the king of Israel. And the, then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together, about 400 men. That would be Ahab. And said unto them, Shall I go against Ramoth Gilead to battle, or shall I forbear? And they said, Go up, for the Lord shall deliver it unto the hand of the king. He had 400 men prophets, lying prophets, telling him what he wanted to hear. So I'll go up there. And Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, I believe, he said, Is there not here a prophet of the Lord besides that we might inquire of him? And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, There is yet one man, Micaiah, the son of Amiah, by whom we may inquire of the Lord, but I hate him, for he does not prophesy good concerning me, but evil. And Jehoshaphat said, Let not the king say so. Then the king of Israel called an officer and said, Hasten hither, Micaiah, the son of Amiah, bring him to me. And the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, sat each on his throne, having put on their robes in a void place in the entrance of the gate of Samaria. And all the prophets prophesied before them. We had 400 lying prophets telling him what he needed to do. Yeah, go up there. And all the prophets prophesied, saying, Go up to Ramoth Gilead and prosper, for the Lord shall deliver it into the king's hand. And then we get into Micaiah. He's fixing to prophesy. And the messenger that was gone to call Micaiah up spake unto him, Behold now the words of the prophets that glare good unto the king with one mouth. Let thy word, I pray thee, be like the word of them. And speak that which is good. So here this messenger, messenger was telling him, Speak like the other prophets. Do as they uh, have said. And Micaiah said, As the Lord liveth, what the Lord saith unto me, that will I speak. We know how we're condemned for speaking the truth in this wicked world we live in now. Well, it was happening back then. And so he came to the king, and the king said unto him, Micaiah, shall we go against Ramoth Gilead to battle, or shall we forbear? And he answered him, Go and prosper, for the Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. So there he was being a, a sarcastic, and he was going along with the 400, the 400 line prophets. And the king said unto him, How many times shall I adjure thee that thou tell me nothing but what which is true in the name of the Lord? So he pretended as though he wanted to know the truth. And Micaiah said, 
And I saw all Israel scattered upon the hills as sheep that have not a shepherd. And the Lord said, These have no master. Let them return every man to his house in peace. And verse 18, And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, Did I not tell thee that he would prophesy no good concerning me, but evil? He'd already said he's going to speak what the Lord had told him to speak. And he's calling it evil. What the man was telling him was the truth. We're going down there. To verse 23. Now therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all thy prophets, and the Lord hath spoken evil concerning thee. And Micaiah said, Behold, in verse 25, Behold, thou shalt see in that day when thou shalt go into an inner chamber to hide thyself. And the king of Israel said, Take Micaiah and carry him back unto Ammon, the governor of the city, and to Joash, the king's son. And say, Thus saith the king, Put this fellow in prison, and feed him with bread of affliction, and with water of affliction, until I come in peace. He thought he was coming back after the war. And if Micaiah said, if thou return at all in peace, the Lord hath not spoken by me. And he said, Hearken, O people, every one of you. And uh, Ahab was defeated in death. All the lying prophets, 400 of them against one. If you're not being persecuted, if you're not feeling it in your service of the Lord, you're not doing anything for Him. You're as one of the 400. But we have a glorious day. A glorious day when He'll right every wrong. Amen. Y'all study about Ahab and his wife and all. There's some good stories right there. And we'll just turn over here to Second Timothy. Ver, uh, chapter 3, verse 12. And this just supports what I'm telling you now. This is out of the New Testament. Second Timothy 3, 12. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Amen. We'll read on verse 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Amen. And, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Jesus Christ. Amen. And it goes on to say, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Amen.